Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do when making a Star Wars GFX is finding a clone trooper. Today, I'm going to be using an ARC trooper, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to go over to the model that appears in the search bar and just click on it once. That will spawn it at the origin of your base plate, which is what I'm using today. So you're going to want to drop down and get rid of the flag label because that's unnecessary in here. And get rid of the morph. And then you're gonna want to find the helmet. This, the helmet and the polygon are actually kind of, oh, they're not combined. Okay, so the helmet, as you can see here, you're gonna need to export selection and tip using making a new file just makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to export this as helmet. The name does not matter as long as it's object model files so you're gonna save that and your computer might lag out of it depending on what kind of computer you have then you're gonna want to click backspace and delete the helmet then you're gonna want to find the pauldron if it has one this is optional but it will look a lot better with the pauldron giving more 3d feel instead of just the helmet and textures. So you want to do the same thing, export selection, and name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Pauldron. And then you just got delete the Pauldron. And then, it's probably not gonna have a head, but it doesn't really matter, so you just wanna click on the character, export selection, name it anything you want, it doesn't matter, because we're just gonna be using its textures today. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is, is install Paint Rig using the link below. And to open Paint Rig, all you got to do is search up Paint Rig v 3 blend. It should appear right there. So, now this thing is going to be here automatically as soon as you open it. So just click Open Image, find your file if you saved it in a file. Here, here it is. Alright, so we're going to import the textures first. And then go to File, Import, Wavefront.obj. Go back to our folder. We're going to insert the helmet, and we're going to put in the pauldron. Now, you're probably wondering why you don't see them. You're going to have to scroll out to find them. It's really weird. It has something to do with the origin, I believe, when you put it in studio, but that's fine. So we're just going to drag the helmet over here until it is on the head. You just gonna want to make sure you get the correct positioning. Okay, now, and then we're gonna drag the pauldron over here. Just gonna... Let it fit on the shoulder, just kind of rest on the shoulders. So now that I realize that the helmet needs to go down a tiny bit. Alright. Okay, so now that we have everything positioned, you wanna gonna want to click on A underscore head attachments. Oh, you're gonna wanna click on helmet, con hold control, A underscore head attachments, press P while still holding control, and click object. And then, so to move the helmet around without having to just scroll out all the way over there, you just wanna wanna click on the a underscore head attachments and you're gonna want to move it around so it's really easy just like that and nice pose and make sure that you are in pose mode click on that square go to pose mode so we're gonna have just a very very simple pose very easy to make a pose, all you gotta do is the normal, this is the bottom half, this is the top half of the arm, and we're just gonna have the arms gonna go upwards, tilt it out a little bit. Really important thing is you mess up a lot if this is your first time. Control plus Z is undo, which comes in really handy a lot of times.
Another thing, if you want to, like, bend the limbs downwards, you have to put it on this little square and drag it down. I'm just gonna do it slightly, and to move the legs, you gotta click on the bottom square and just tilt it like that. So now, what I'm actually gonna do is import a gun for our Coruscant guard here. So I'm gonna explain how to do that. Okay, so we're back in our Roblox Studio. You get that. You wanna go back into your toolbox? You wanna know, look up like a gun model. Today I'm going to be using the DC-15A, you have to make sure it's a model. Same thing, you just gotta click on the model, which will spawn it at the origin. Oh, that is way too, way big. too big. And we're just gonna find one that we like. That looks like a pretty good DC-15A, although... It's okay, so now, all you gotta do is, if the icon right here is like a wrench, do not export it. It has to be like this brick model, which means, yeah, it's a model. So export that, and that's all you really need to do. I already have a DC-15A model, so we're just gonna head over back to Paint Rig. Okay, so we're back on Paint Rig, and the same thing for the helmet and the pauldron is what you do to import your gun model, wavefront.obj. And I'm going to go to my downloads. I already have a guns folder. And actually, I'm going to be using an F11 today. Which I'm pretty sure is a first order gun, but like, it doesn't really matter. I like the white and it matches our little course on guard here today. We just got to click on the gun, move it all the way over here. We are going to... And then, if you rotate it, it's gonna rotate by a lot. So I always try and rotate it first in the beginning, or else it can kind of just screws up. There is a very easy way to move the gun around once you get it close to your guy. Whether it be a Coruscant Guard like I'm doing, or a 501st Trooper like I did in my Speed GFX video not too long ago. Don't know I'm gonna be done editing this because school is weird, but I reckon I'll be done with this soon. I'm still getting used to this solo commentary, so like I don't know. I usually record with friends because I find it a lot more fun. Okay, so we got our gun near our. Guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just hold down control, R underscore hand attachments, because we're gonna be using the right hand for our gun today, P, and object. Okay, so now we can rotate our hand attachment. You can see it's just a lot smoother, and it doesn't just go flying around the map if you try and rotate it, which is really what I like. Just a lot easier and simpler. So now we're just going to position our gun on this guy. Yeah. Alright, that's pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get an HDRI, but before we do that, you gotta go click this TV like icon, and go to EV. Then, you can turn on that, that, and that. This will give it more, like, more reflections, and bloom, I don't like using it, because I think it makes things look too glowy and too bright, but basically what it does, it just, like, increases, like, the brightness, it makes glowy things glowier. Alright, so we're gonna import the HDRI. I like using either Chinese Garden or Spirit Sunrise. I'll leave the link to both of those in the description. So anyway, we're gonna wanna go to this red globe type of icon. Click Environment Texture. Click Open. And then 4K, I can recommend 4K because 
Yeah. So Spirit Sunrise, we're gonna open that and then click this little ball icon. And then that'll give us a nice light. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna import Lightroom. This is optional, but I like doing it. I'll leave the link to Lightroom in the description also. I can find it. Because this just kind of gives it a solid color background. And we're gonna go on wanna go to like this checkered red ball. Click on the Lightroom. And we should be able to change its colors and everything. So I'm gonna give it a nice black background. Now, this is, I really like doing this, this is a way to add colored lights or just points of light across the map. Click add light point. And we're gonna set the power level to like that or something. You can adjust it to however you like it. You can move this like orb of light around the map. That power level is a little high, so I'm gonna decrease it. Oh, decrease it by too much. And I'm gonna change the color to like kind of like a red glow to match to match our Coruscant Guard's all red theme. All right, now that's pretty much all we need to do. Now all we gotta do is just add in our camera, which is what you're actually gonna be seeing in the image. So click Add Camera, and it's gonna appear in like in the center here. So, and you're going to want to just move it around. And to see what the camera is seeing, click View, Cameras, Active Camera. So you're going to want to keep moving it around until your whole guy is in your camera view. So, that's all you really need to do. Okay, we have our whole character in view now. So, another effect which can make it look cooler depending on what you're doing is rotating the camera to give it like a slanted view. And we're gonna just see how that looks. And yeah, that looks nice. So we're gonna be sticking with that. And now all you need to do is click render, render image. Depending on how fast your computer is, this could take a bit, but Eevee renders it faster than Cycles and the other ones. So there is our Coruscant Guard. Now we're going to click Image. Save as. Name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Red Dude Epic GFX. Okay, so this next step is completely optional, but I like doing it because it just makes the image look better. You can do special effects and it's completely free. So we're going to put our image in paint.net, which I'll leave a download link to in the description. We're going to add in some like smoke and fog. Just make it look cool. So we're going to just like add some fog around. So, I'm actually going to give it a nice Star Wars text. I will leave the link to this in the description also. So, we're going to customize that. And I, we're just going to write... Oh, that's not bad, but nope. Okay, so we're just going to write... Coruscant Guard. And we're going to enter that. Just going to download the image in PNG. Go back to paint.net. Never mind. So, what I'm going to crop out the watermark 
So you're selecting it using the select tool, and then just doing image, crop to selection, and copy that. And then you can paste it there, no more watermark. So you can see that's how it's looking. Looks like it's pretty good. And that is our final product. You can save it as a PNG. And that's all you need to do. Thanks for watching. Lick and sub video outro.